Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is just about noon in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York. It is Friday the 13th, 2019, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. I must start by acknowledging that this has been a difficult market to trade, meaning gold, especially when we have scenarios in which the fundamental results have been the reverse of what was expected. In other words, yesterday it was announced that uh, they had reached a tentative phase one trade agreement. And while many analysts, including myself, believed that that would be bearish on gold, it did exactly the opposite. There were other events, of course, that came involved in that. But nonetheless, we saw gold move up about $8 today. That did affect our bottom line and our trade. We'll talk about that when we pull up current pricing. I also want to take a look today at the big picture using a super cycle Elliott wave count that is derived from a data set beginning when gold was trading at about 300 up until current trading. And I think you'll find that quite fascinating. But first, let's take a look at current pricing. In as much as we are constantly threading the needle when it comes to balancing risk reward and a current trade, I acknowledge that by moving our stop up after the announcement that a trade deal had been reached to 1467.50 was just a couple dollars shy of the mark because the low came in at 1465.50, knocking us out of our trade. We got in roughly at 82, the high today, and then got stopped out on the lows as they came down. That being said, I am still baffled after a phase one trade deal was announced that it was completed and we saw gold move up. It was a mixed bag in the precious metals markets today, moving higher, up about five cents and closing exactly at $17 per ounce, but platinum and palladium did move lower on the day, platinum losing about $14 at 930, and palladium dropping by about $6 to 1908. All the meantime, we had some decent tailwinds from a weaker US dollar. Dollar lost about 18 points and closed at 97.20. On today's show, I want to look at a couple of charts, short-term daily and a long-term monthly. First to the daily. In terms of trading this week, we must acknowledge that it closed higher on the day and on the week. However, throughout the week, with the exception of yesterday, in which we saw a tremendous spike up to $1,493, it did close lower. We had trading activity over the last consecutive nine trading days really tied to this 50-day moving average. We can see a series of tops here, 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 and of course today that came in with highs just around the 50-day moving average and on all occasions it did move lower. My sense is that to really get bullish on this market we have to acknowledge that this market needs to move and close effectively above the 50-day moving average before we get technical confirmation that this rally is firmly in place. We acknowledge very, very solid support at around 1450, but we're still marred in this resistance area that has been created by the 50-day moving average. That being said, I still believe that once gold is able to break above the 50-day, the levels that we want to look at are really set at about 1500 and that is the 23% retracement level along with the 100-day moving average which resides currently at 1493.90 because once we see gold pricing move above these critical levels of resistance especially the 1493 I believe that we are fully intact to see this fifth wave terminate at about 1625 to 1650. But I do want to introduce a much longer model, which takes us into the super cycles currently in gold. We are looking at a monthly chart 
for an extremely long data set in terms of this Elliott wave count. It really is a super cycle because what it is looking at is this large move that started at around 2001 up until the record highs at about 1920 are being labeled as an impulse super cycle major third wave and then a major fifth and then an intermediate fifth. Doing that in terms of the retracement we saw, this retracement came in at about 50%, a little bit below that price point, and then it firmly sees that we are in a fifth wave that began really at the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, when we had technical confirmation that the multi-year correction was over at about $1,040. It's also looking at a very, very long-term trend and a completion of this cycle up close to $2,100 dollars per ounce. Now that is based upon a Fibonacci extension of wave three. And what it is saying is that if we take wave three and we do an extension to the 0.618%, it will take us to this particular price point for the conclusion. We also can see the small five, which is signaling that the Elliott Wave automated system, the GET system, is also using this number, 0.618 in terms of an extension to express where we could see gold pricing move on a multi-year level. This would be the next three to four years. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. I'm sorry I was unable to deliver that to you this week. We'll talk to you on Monday for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.